is Empress Eleven. Uh, let's see if we can get a quick interview before she gets up on stage. Rose, Rose, how are you feeling tonight? Fine, and you, and Are you having a great time? Excellent time. What a wonderful walking, or Thank driving, you. I might say. Thank you so much. Well, we'll let you go. We'll talk to you later. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. My name is Freddie Day, a.k.a. Empress Eleven Rose of the Imperial Court of Toronto. I was born in St. Jamestown, Toronto, partly raised up north. Moved here when I was 14 years old. My mother didn't approve of my identity in society as far as being queer back then. And so I came here and uh, built a life here. It was hard, it was very difficult. A lot of hurdles had to be passed, acceptance of all cultures and, and, and life. And it was a rough, rough time for a lot of people with the AIDS epidemic. <laughs> That's great. It's a nice photo. It's plain Jane. Mm-hmm. Almost looks a bit like Judith Light. The first time I ever did drag on stage was at Boots and Buds. And somebody recognized me that I could do a wonderful Anne Murray. By then I had my papers, my acting, and I entered a contest as Anne Murray and I won $1,000 cash. Everybody was upset because I you know, first time on stage, and where did she come from, and who, what is she all about? I never had a stage name, so I was wearing a rose kind of pantsuit, so I just decided to call myself Rose. That's my mom. My mom was a beautiful woman in her day. Very cameo, very Marilyn Patsy Cline kind of look, so she would put on a Marilyn, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe wig and, and the, the little white dress and play the music and, 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 and run around the living room thinking she was that, you know, Marilyn Monroe and stuff. I guess that's where I got the entertainment side of me. And I said to myself one day, I can do that if I put my heart and soul into it. These are just court titles from the court. I got a better insight of what TICOT was really all about. It's a charity organization that helps out the community, took an interest in and then started off the little titles and then worked my way up the ladder to the big title, being Empress. Pictures, pictures, pictures. pictures. I was never a 24-hour drag queen, like an actor. When I'm Fred, I'm Fred. When I'm Rose, depending on the situation under the circumstances, the venue perhaps, I'm a character. I I'm trained to be that character of Rose. If you were to come to my home, you would not see Rose, you would just see Fred. This was my campaign. Play nice. the game of love, set the dream in motion. Vote for Rose. And all my sponsors. See? And my schedule. Campaign schedule. I decided to run for Empress 11 because I had previous titles in the court system. It was about raising money and I knew I, I had the production skills and it was actually the founder, the Whittle Norton, first Empress of the Imperial Court System, who said, you have potential. I never really wanted to be an Empress. You have to have faith and believe in yourself. and. Um, the rest just falls into place. My father was a very giving, humble, 
loving person. If he was here today, you would understand him more, because I can't. I can't speak for him, but later on in life, he took me in and helped me out until he found out I was what I am, not who I am. But he didn't understand that back then. He caught me with a friend, and the next day he told me to get out. But then as time rolled on and he learned to ac ac accept me, he just said to me, I don't care what you do in life, Reddy, or what you are, just don't come down with the AIDS virus and things like that. And I tried to explain to him, that's what I do, Dad. I, I raise awareness and I do charity work to help out gay men and women to advance and hopefully find someday that this disease will disappear. Being Empress is a very demanding, demanding, humble position to your community. If you're called and you're needed, you might have to cancel something, you might have to do this, because when you step into that position, you realize, you have to realize what you got yourself into. I would not do it all over again. I've taken different routes of how to volunteer as, as Fred. Everybody knows I've retired from the, the, the world of drag. I volunteer at ACT, I volunteer at uh, MCC Church, I volunteer at the 519, and that's, that's all to do with, with, with Fred, rather than putting on a dress and saying, it's all about me. It's not all about me, it's about us and people. I can do what I want to do as Fred without having to be Rose. I can put my energy elsewhere and still do what I humbly do from the heart, which is the gift to help out other people.